Hello everybody and welcome to another MX Bikes video and today guys we are on a bike that I've actually not ridden yet at all. I actually have ridden none of the 350s. Yes, this is the KTM 350. Uh, a bike that to be honest with you, I'm thinking about buying in real life when uh, when I when I can load up those funds cuz they're not right they're not there yet. But uh bike is super super fun. Um, I think 350s in general are just a lot of fun. It's that perfect um, kind of area of power. You know, it still has that short term power of a 450, um, but that like long, you know, power band of like a 250. So it's like just in between, like I think the 450, especially in this game, you don't really ever use all the power. And so with this bike, you're getting that pull, um, you know, early um, that you get on the 450, but then, you know, you're kind of getting that 250 speed um, and weight when uh, when you're when you're getting those RPMs up. So hit that like button, hit that sub button. And uh, today we're just going to be riding this bike, and uh, I've done a few laps just to get the old juices flowing. I haven't been able to play MX bikes much the last two days. Been busy with the old schoolwork, so um, kind of sucks, but uh, I don't know. I only have, what, two months, three months left of school, a little under three months left, so um, yeah, not bad. School's not bad. It's just, you know, it's a lot of work. And uh, I don't know. I've been like, I want to focus on YouTube, but it's like, I can't. You know what I mean? Um, kind of sucks. But at the same time, you know, I'm, I've got, I'm doing important things. But uh, about the old KTN 350 here, super fun bike. Um, well, let's talk about the track first, right? This is the uh, the Wonderland, or I think, or no, it's not Wonderland. It's sandbox. What am I saying? It's Moto Sandbox. This is a real place in in real life. Um, this is the Swamp Loop. I'm pretty sure just the Swamp Track. I don't think it's the Loop, but uh, super fun track, dude. I like haven't been here since so I made a video on it, and that was horrible. But this is probably man. If I included pay tracks in my in my like track ranking video, this this might be a top two track i mean ever like this track it's not even a track it's just this compound in general is amazing um it's just cool i mean it's not like the super sandy texture that you get in some of these um sand tracks that honestly sand in this game is pretty bad I'm not gonna lie uh, but what this track creator's done is he's like kind of revolutionized it by not revolutionized it but just made it better by like creating this like soft topsoil so it's still kind of slippery and it doesn't really feel like you know you're on just hard packed dirt you still get that sand feel and then obviously just the way he textured it and the roughness he already you know pre-applied to it is uh just awesome bro pretty sure sks is his name or something i think i'm not 100 sure if that's a fact but these tracks are fire and I'm trying to run under a minute lap time, so why don't we just do that right now? Biggest thing through these corners is just being smooth. But I like to just hop on the gas, you know what I mean? I think we all like to do that. We run a 101.5 there. Alright. The only thing I'd say about this bike, and just the KTM in general... It's like, it feels fairly unstable at times. Um, what I mean by that is like on the Yamaha, if if I like get squirrely, I can just save it. But this bike, and I think the 250 kind of has the same problem. When you get squirrely and lose that back end, it is like unsavable. Um, if you case jumps, the bike's going down, it's unsavable. But it's like with the Yamaha, it's like it just soaks everything. It's almost like a beta 17 bike in a way. Um, but I think this bike corners very well. Um, it's just when I get in trouble on this thing, I don't know what it is. I just I have so much trouble saving it. Um, and just like, I don't know what I'm breaking. I kind of already said this in yesterday's video. I was on the Husky, but uh, I don't know. It's like when you're braking, you lose that back end like very easy and you just, just like no saving it, it feels like. All right, here we go. We're going under a minute. Just made up all the time that inside line there. Oh, I feel so good right now. Let's go. Oh my god, we're sending it. 
Second gear, hopped up in that rut. OJ. Oh, I don't know how I saved that, to be honest. Oh, this is an actual heater. Oh my. L mistake from the old Trojan. We're going to run a 58-1. That's a pretty fast time. Um, if you guys got this track, come out here and ride this thing, man. It's actually super fun, and I, you'll get a lot better at the game, trust me, because these ruts are not super big, so you kind of have to pay attention and kind of get your way into them. Obviously, I got E-Road on. I think I'm at like 0.6 or 0.7 E-Road, so it's actually pretty good. I haven't ran too many laps. What does that say? I ran 10 laps, so... Um, it erodes quite nicely, man. I, I like putting it on a lower erode and just kind of spinning laps for a while. And um, things just kind of shape up better. I think when you go on a higher erode, some stuff can get messed up and you can cut through a rut. And Yeah, I think it's better when you like shape it in the long term. Especially in this game. But man, I love this bike, bro. I'm faster on this bike than the 450. I guarantee that. I feel like at least one of my viewers has to have a KTM 350. Right? Someone's got to in the comments. Come on, let me know. Let me know what, you, what kind of bike you guys got just in general. I don't I don't care what you got. But if you got a 350, that'd be pretty cool. Um, if it's KTM, that's even cooler. Tell me you guys like the bike. Um, you know, I haven't ridden in a long time. Like, I think it was like eight years old last time I rode. Um... But uh, I want to get a bike, bro. I got my motorcycle license on a KLR 650 last summer. Uh, my dad has like an XR 600. Um, he's got a 400 too. So I don't know. I want him to fire those things up because I kind of want to go out and just ride. Do some trail riding. Just get back into it because um, over the last year, I've like just fallen back in love with just the sport. Like after 2014 when Villapoto retired and, you know, James Stewart kind of was out of the scene like bro i just stopped watching motocross and supercross and now i mean i'm making videos obviously but like last year 2022 soupy like bro that's like it just like sparked it sparked the love back you know what i mean so now all i want to do is just ride bro <laughs> like it's actually bad like i can't wait for summer even if it's just trail riding i don't care bro i just want to get on a dirt bike dude Bro, I'm enjoying this way too much, bro. Why does this bike rip? Okay, dude. Why you gotta kill the vibes, bro? With your unstable bike. The sound is, yeah, I don't know. Not the best sound in the world, but... Uh, I find myself leaning back a lot on these, these corners. Um... And if you're a beginner, I mean, leaning back everywhere is not a good thing, especially in Supercross. It, it all depends on the corner. Um, but when you have a corner that doesn't have, like, a high berm, you know, it's, like, something low like this, leaning back through is, is the way to go, you know, through these, like, ruts and stuff. But if you're doing Supercross with the high berms, leaning forward is much more useful. Um, yeah. Ooh. Oh, my goodness, brother. Uh, I'm going to show you guys the setup too in a minute here. Just want to put down. I want to put down one more heater after this and then I'll give you guys my setup. I just made a little setup for it. I didn't test it or anything. That's like my literally first time on the bike. So I'm just going to show you it though because people are always going to ask for the setup. So not saying it's good, but if you're going to come out here on these tracks and you want to ride like this, then I mean that setup I guess can get you somewhat of the way there. You'll be on a level playing field. All right, here we go. Horrible start to the lap.
No way, man. Ba, 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 ba. All right, guys. Let me show you the mice. Look at the consistency here, though. Very, very consistent from the old Trojan, baby. Uh, let's go to... What do we got? Default. All right, so the red is default. All the black is just what the setup is, so... Red stuff's just showing you what I changed, so it's a lot quicker for you. You don't have to look at all this stuff, but... Um, yeah, I just turned all these arrows down one, and then I turned fast bump to two on the back or for the rear suspension. So, pretty simple there. Uh, Drivetrain, just 12.52, and then um, bumped fork offset up to height up to left swing arm. Probably could bump this up one or two, and then rod length I went up one. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next one. Peace.